Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Self Care Miss Day 6. I'm Heather Evans, your self care and empowerment coach, and I hope that you will join me for this journey of self care miss during this festive season. To do so, remember to subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to get notified when I release a new video every other day throughout the month of December. Today I wanted to share with you one part of my winter morning routine. This is something that I've incorporated during the colder months and this particular recipe, yes it's a recipe, it's a drink, uh, an Ayurvedic drink, was inspired by an article that I read in Yoga International. So I will include a link, a direct link to the original recipe in the description below and be sure to check out Yoga International's resources because they are incredible. So this is the Vata time of year and the Vata time of year means that things are a bit more ungrounded. The air is crisper, we tend to be colder. And so what we want to do in order to balance out the nature of this Vata season is invite warming, grounding, nourishing practices and foods into our routine. And this drink is something that I enjoy throughout the winter season, not just during the festive season. So in this bowl here, I have, hopefully you can see it, I have six golden raisins, that's these little guys here. I have one dark fig dried and I have three dates. Now I'm using three dates because I don't happen to have medjool dates. If you're using medjool dates, you probably only need one and make sure that you take that pit out. In this bowl here, I have one hunk of ginger. I like my drink a bit spicier. And I also have one crushed cardamom pod. You can get cardamom pods at bulk stars and then to crush it I just simply use the back of a spoon or the bottom of a cup and I just mash it and then there you go. So I'm going to add the ginger to my fig, date, and raisins mixture. And then I have a tablespoon here of raw pumpkin seeds and I have 10 cashews here. Now the original recipe calls for almonds. You can certainly use almonds. I've actually played with a combination of almonds and cashews. I've played with just the almonds. I like cashews a bit better. For me, the cashews are a bit easier on my digestive system, I'm noticing. It makes it a bit creamier, which I really enjoy. And yeah, I just, I enjoy this flavor a bit more, but feel free to experiment. You could also do a couple of different things. You could, add some cinnamon to this if you like it a little bit spicier. You could add some different nuts to it if you wanted to explore which nuts really resonate for your system. Um, I played around a bit with the recipe, but I haven't strayed too far from it because the original recipe is just so good. So make sure that you check that out. I'm gonna add the nuts and the pumpkin seeds. And these are raw pumpkin seeds, by the way. They aren't roasted, they aren't salted, they aren't toasted, they are raw. So I'm going to add my nuts and my pumpkin seeds to my cup here. So everything is in the same cup. And then all I'm going to do is pour over some water. So you've poured your water over and then you're gonna let this sit overnight. And what you'll notice is that the nuts get bigger and softer, the pumpkin seeds go soft, the fig and the dates, they kind of even start to fall apart a little bit. They get really mushy. And then in the morning, what you want to do is, so again, you let this sit overnight. And then in the morning, what you want to do is you want to strain all of the water off. I use a fine mesh strainer for this. I dump all of this into a blender. I happen to use a Vitamix. So I pop all of this into my Vitamix. I add six to eight ounces of water. It depends on how thick I want it, and this is a thick drink. So you'll add, um, you'll add that water and then you will blend it at the highest setting your blender can possibly go. I don't recommend using a food 
food processor for this, it's not gonna get things fine enough. So you definitely need a blender for this. So you blend it until it's nice and smooth, everything is broken down, and then you drink and enjoy. So that is a morning winter ritual, Ayurvedic inspired. You can always put your own twist on it, see what resonates with you. You could add sweetener, maple syrup, some honey, whatever feels good to you. I don't add anything to this. I, I kind of like the, the earthiness of it, um, but you get to decide for yourself. So an invitation to give this recipe a go. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. I hope you're enjoying self-care, miss. I will see you soon. Stay ignited out there. Bye.